Here's a weird story. On Friday night, a truck carrying 100 lab monkeys crashed in Pennsylvania. A number of them escaped, three of them. CDC showed up immediately with other authorities, captured them, and killed them immediately. Why? What is the story about? Well, our friend Trace Gallagher is back. He's on this story for us. Hey, Trace. Hey, Tucker. These were 100 Cytomolgus macaques. These are monkeys used in medical studies flown into the U.S. from Eastern Africa. As you said, they were put on a truck headed for an unknown research lab. The truck crashed in rural Pennsylvania and crates full of monkeys spilled onto a road. Three of the monkeys got loose and state troopers quickly notified residents not to look for them, saying, quoting here, it is hard to say how they would react to a human approaching them. But finding the monkeys was clearly an all-hands-on-deck situation because state troopers, the CDC, the health department, and Pennsylvania Game Commission were all involved, which made one resident very curious. He said, quoting here, we got bears, we have coyotes, we have deer, you know, all the time. A little three-pound monkey doesn't scare me, but why are they co so concerned about it is what concerns me. Another resident who saw the crash says she went to help the truck driver who told her he was hauling cats. She looked into a cage saying, hey, kitty, kitty, when a monkey popped up. The woman was then told by the CDC to monitor herself for any cold-like symptoms. The CDC also told her the monkeys would be monitored for 31 days, but when the missing monkeys were found, they were not monitored, they were killed. Though the CDC has not said why, and the CDC has not said what the lab they were heading to is actually researching, Though the CDC did tell us the monkeys could transmit deadly viruses, a lot of questions in this, getting very few answers. Tucker. Why they are so concerned is what so concerns me. It's just so nicely put. Thank you. Thank you for that story, Trish Gallagher. You bet. I'm fascinated. Right now, some the Biden administration has just declared monkeypox a public health emergency. This is at the national level. So the announcement came down. Uh, from the Health and Human Services Secretary, Javier Becerra. This means that it will now free up federal funding and federal resources to help fight this virus. Cases are on the rise across the United States, and the administration has been criticized in recent days for its handling of the outbreak. More than 700,000 doses of the two-shot monkeypox vaccine were shipped out on Monday, which brings the total to just above one million. But that is only enough for one-third of the gay and bisexual men that the CDC says are at risk. So far, there have been more than 6,600 reported cases across 48 states. And in the Sacramento County area specifically, they are now reporting a significant increase in monkeypox cases. The county's total stands at 63, and that's up from a Tuesday of 11. That's how many more we're seeing now. More than 3,000 doses of the vaccine have been given out in Sacramento County so far. Turning now to the latest on monkeypox, the World Health Organization has declared the monkeypox outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. It is the highest alert level the WHO can declare, and it means that monkeypox has spread to a point where a coordinated international response may be required. There are 46 confirmed cases of monkeypox in Harris County, and today we're hearing from one Houston man who has been suffering from the virus for three weeks now. Janelle Bluda joins us with his story. Janelle. Yeah, guys, Wesley Wallace says while having monkeypox, it's painful just to exist. Now, we want to warn you this illness is graphic in nature, and we do not want to hide the severity of some of its symptoms, but you should know some of these images are hard to watch. Wallace thinks he got the virus when he was out at a bar July 4th weekend. He says he may have gotten it from kissing another person because, as you can see, the blisters first appeared on his face. He has eight lesions on his chin and even one inside his mouth. And now, he says, they're starting to spread to other parts of his body. On top of that, he's experienced severe flu-like symptoms, chills, night sweats, body aches. He even got strep throat. But another symptom for many, he says, is isolation. So he's sharing his story so others know they're not alone. If you hear of a friend or a loved one that has this, message them, support them, ask them if they need anything, just let them know that they're not some kind of pariah, that they're not dirty. And that it's gonna be okay, it's not lethal. It's just very temporary and it's scary for the moment. 
Wallace says it took a few days for his doctor to confirm it was monkeypox, but once that happened, the people he had been in contact with were able to get the vaccine outside that. However, he says access to the vaccine has been so scarce, his friends are actually leaving Texas to get it in other states. Now, Wallace thinks he's got another week or so in quarantine, making his entire infection and recovery about a month. If you would like more information on monkeypox and the efforts happening in our community, visit our website, khou.com. First of all, all praises to the Father Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Ruach Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for worshiping the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some rest worship and praises in my people to the most high he is definitely worthy of that and we definitely need to in these perilous days that we are in okay today we're going to talk about how the most high feel about the pride community you know since the days of Sodom and Gomorrah the Most High has been showing all of these particular people that want to walk disorderly and defile themselves among themselves with themselves that the Most High is not down with these abominable things that we see before us. Here in this picture alone, two men have no business engaging themselves as a man and a woman. It's awful looking and the most high frowns upon it. And I just want to point out that the most high is looking right up here. Now these two dudes and everybody else is out here. They do not see right up here. This face that's in the sky, in the air, in the clouds, that's frowning up on them. You understand? It says, I can't remember what scripture that the evil will destroy the wicked. Okay. And the most high have created angels that are considered evil. That's going to destroy the wicked. And what these two men here and the rest of these men out here and even women that walk like them, that's up on, uh, themselves as well women that walk as men that take women unto themselves as wives okay you are going to be destroyed with the plagues that the most high sent among you you should have I would have thought in other words when the most high sent HIV AIDS that you would have known that this is not the way that you are supposed to walk as a man to take another man on as a wife this is twisted and the most high is going to continue to send these plagues you understand for all of you so-called pride walkers that's just what it is now today we're going to go into romans and uh we're going to see just what it is that the most high says about this kind of thing right here that we see among us that is increasingly worse than ever throughout this country alone okay but before we do let's go over to ephesians 5 11. ephesians 5 11 says clearly and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, okay? You know what this is telling us that's not down with the pride walkers? <clears throat> it's simply, do not have nothing to do with them, but tell them where they are wrong, like what we're finna do today, hearing the Most High's word. This is what we're finna to do, okay? So for all of you guys that say, Hey, let them do their thing. It's got nothing to do with us. Oh, yes, it has everything to do with us. Okay? Do you not know that there were straight people in Sodom and Gomorrah? 
that were destroyed right along with the ones that went after strange flesh? Yes, it was. Okay? Yes, it was. I'm telling you right now. If you take part in uh, those that you would call relatives that, that are like this, pride walkers, uh, so-called friends, if you don't separate yourself, the very same thing that's going to befall them will befall you too. That's just what it is. <clears throat> there are straight people that are also getting this monkeypox virus as well. And I'm telling you, I've seen pictures of these things and it is awful. It was so graphic. I don't even want to show it in this uh, particular lesson right here today. You know, I'm just telling you guys, this is nothing to play with. The Most High is not playing. Okay, he will continue to show his wonders and his wrath upon this earth as these perilous days continue. As surely as man decide to walk contrary to what the Most High said, how to walk. That's just what it is. Okay, so let's go over here in Romans uh, 1 and 18. Okay, for the wrath of Yahweh is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and all unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness okay so you see there's no there's no need to wonder why these plagues are coming up among us see when we accept filth you understand we're going to be held accountable along with the ones that's doing the filth this is what I'm saying. This is so important for all of us. If you got, you know, uh, relatives that are like, you know, pride, just say pride walkers, because that's what they <laughs> what they call themselves. You know what I mean? You better separate yourself from them. Because this is not, it's not right. Putting it mildly. This is what it is, okay? Let's go to Romans 24. Wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Is this not what we are seeing? With man on man and woman on woman. And that's uncleanliness. It's not monkeypox. Uncleanliness. It's not HIV. AIDS uncleanliness and you can see the way monkey pox look on the flesh is very very unclean looking all right let's get into this chapter right here starting with 21 uh romans 21 because it says because that when they knew yahweh they glorified him not as yahweh neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible Yahweh into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and I'm going to stop right there and say you got people that saying it's alright for a man and a man to hug and kiss one another and labor one another and a woman and a woman to hug and kiss and labor one another that is a lie they even want somebody put it out that yahweh was this way he never was that way this is sick let's continue and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever the creature is Nephilim, just so you guys know. Monsters looking for uh, Nephilim, okay? Amen. 26 here. 
For this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Okay? Let's talk about that a little bit. The natural use of what is called the box. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Number one. Y'all change that for you women that want to walk as men. That's basically what this is talking about. Now let's continue. And likewise unto the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust toward lust one toward another. Okay? How sick is that? Okay? How sick is that? It is sick. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, words can't explain how sick this is when you think about it. And then we see this thing, this word right here, manifesting itself right before our eyes. Let's continue. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their era, which was me. Okay? That's what it is. This is awful, man. Let's read 27 again. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burn in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their own error, which was me. Okay. How sick is this, man? I'm telling you. Let's go over to Romans 1 and 27. Most High said it. He said it. Now, we just read uh, 27 over here, but let's start at 28 right here. And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not co co convenient, all right? Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of Yahweh, despiteful, proud, bolsters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. All of, this, all of this is true. This is all facts right here. Okay? This is all facts. The unrighteousness. Fornication. We're going to study the word fornication in another lesson. Because I've come to find that fornication does not mean what people think it is. Fornication does not mean that when a man and a woman meet. And they labor one another that they're fornicating, okay? Fornication is said to really mean when a man or a woman will give themselves to something unnatural, like lay with an animal, fornicate with beast, you know, doing, having sex with, you know what I mean, with an animal of some sort. But we're gonna get into that sometime down the line because I wanted to talk about that, okay? You know, but now let's go over to Romans uh, 1 and 30 here. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to start from uh, and 31. Okay. Because we already did 30. But without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of Yahweh that they went which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same but have pleasure in them that do them okay y'all hear that let me read it again without understanding this is what we're dealing with with people like this okay covenant breakers without natural affection implacable uh, merciful who knowing the judgment of Yahweh that they 
which commit such things are worthy of death. So in other words, you know what the consequences are. Like this situation with the pride community, the pride walkers, but you still do it. So it says right here in the word, you're worthy of death and the most high will bring death unto you. Because it says it, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. It says it. You take pleasure in rub, uh, rubbing uh, this stuff in the Most High's face. Your sickness. This. You take pleasure. But the Most High, if you think HIV, AIDS in other words, monkeypox and all this, you know what I mean, that you can beat this, he's got something further on down the road, not that much further on down the road, gonna make those diseases right there look like a day in the park. <laughs> Putting it mildly. Again, I'm going to focus on these faces. This face right here in particular. Up in these clouds, looking straight down in that camera, the Most High is letting us know that he see all of this stuff and he looks through the eyes of his angels his eyes the most high's eyes has run to and fro throughout the whole entire earth and he sees all this wickedness that's taking place i'm going to tell the pride community today i know you won't hear me but i'm going to say it anyway Repent of this filth before the Most High while you still have breath in your body. And the blood is running warm through your veins before he bring his wrath upon you. Repent, not only to the pride walkers, but to the murderers, the liars, the thieves, all the haters, which are envious type folks. You understand what I'm saying? Repent. The rapists, repent. Because I'm telling you, we finna see a marvelous work of wrath that the Most High is finna drop on this planet. You don't want none of that. Trust and believe what I'm saying. Repent. Repent. Because we have not scratched the surface for what the Most High is finna bring here on this earth. We've got all the warnings. We have all the warning signs right before us. But yet, nevertheless, you got a lot of the ones. Oh, there ain't nothing. I'm gonna live my life. I don't give a damn what. I'm not gonna live my life in fear. You fear mongering. No, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Since when you can look up in the sky and see faces like this, mean and scary looking faces that have their orders from the Most High himself to do whatever he tell them to do to whoever he will that's walking defiling. You see, this is how deep it is. A lot of people talking about, oh, I ain't gonna know Jesus coming back. I ain't gonna crack in the sky. I ain't gonna open. But yeah, still, look at these faces we see in the air. <laughs> what a fool believes. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular lesson. I hope that you found it edifying. And I hope that you take my advice for the ones that need to. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Look up here where I'm where I'm pointing this arrow at. Simply because we are. This is James and I'm out. Peace.